total. So get ready, enjoy as always. Make sure you've gone through your warm up. So I need you nice and nice and warm. Okay, ideally, I want you warmed up before you even look at these videos because that'll make this flow a lot better. But yeah, so just going through your arm rotations, loosening up. Hopefully, okay, so with chin ups, that's what we're going to be getting into first, which is why I'm saying that I really want you warm before I But um, yeah, if you, if you ever have any pain, Overhead, lifting up overhead like this, you're feeling pain through the shoulder, don't do chin-ups, okay? Yeah, yeah. That, that's an indicator that you might have a shoulder impingement or an impinged nerve in your shoulder, um, so you're not ready yet. Um, yeah, if, if you are feeling the pain through the shoulder, just basically you're gonna need to uh, work on shoulder mobility work and strengthening your rhomboids and traps, so the muscles in between your shoulders that pull the shoulders back as well as stretching through the chest. Um, yeah, because you're likely a little bit hunched, rounded. So if, yeah, if you wanted to realize what I'm talking about, if you draw your shoulders all the way forward, raise your arm as high as you can, you'll see that I can't get very far at all. Whereas the second you bring your shoulders back, all the way down, boom, we've got all that beautiful range of motion. Anyway, side note. Okay, so what we're gonna be getting into first is 10 to 10 reps of chin-ups followed by 10 push-ups. We're gonna be dropping in on each side of the push-ups. So it's gonna be a little bit harder. All right, let's hit it. So just 10 chin-ups, nice and strong. So we're gonna be going for a neutral grip, palms facing each other. Ideally, you're gonna be, okay, so there are options here. So either you're gonna be jumping up and then just controlling down. Don't let yourself jolt at the bottom. You're gonna be jumping up, control, and then beautiful. And then just go on the straight and extra rep. Oh. The next option is a single, single leg hop. Control, from there, come down, rising up, and going down, and obviously the next level is just to do the reps. Okay, so, 10 reps, let's smash it out. Three, two, and one, let's go. If you can't get the full 10 reps out in a row, and obviously what you want to do instead is get as many as you can in a row. You'll notice as well that I'm going full range of motion. So I'm pretty much hanging at the bottom and lifting up the whole way. Um, but yeah, once, once you feel like you can't do it anymore, then you can go with your negatives to make it a little bit easier. Either way, no matter what, you're going to get your 10 reps out. So that's really, really important. Beautiful. All right, so next, I'm going to pump out these push-ups. So we're just going to be dropping onto each side for 10 reps. So you're just going to be coming down, straight down, and then pushing up. Straight down, push it up. So for 10 reps, if you want to make it harder, if you want to make it harder, you can also go onto your knuckles, okay? This will increase the amount of depth that you have to go. It'll make it a little bit more of a difficult exercise for your chest as well. Okay, so 10 reps, either hands, knuckles, and then also remember that you can drop down to the knees if you find it too hard on the toes. But all right, let's do it. So just 10 reps. Three, two, and one. Let's pump it out. So getting your chest all the way down. That's it. Beautiful. And 10. Beautiful, well done, all right, cool. So now, getting straight back into the chin ups. Let's just keep it going, keep it flowing. Okay, round two, we're gonna be going for a, a super dandy grip. So palms facing you as we come up. This is really gonna emphasize the biceps. It's gonna need to emphasize the biceps a lot. All right, so we're just gonna be going for eight reps. Let's pump it out. Three, two, and one, let's go. So just remembering, you can do the negatives if you need to as well. Drawing your abs in, keeping your core nice and strong. All right, so 
So yeah, and just remember, your knees are going to be jumping up and controlling all the way down. All right, guys. Try to set push-ups. Let's pump this out. So either you're going to be going on your hands, making a triangle out of your hands, or onto your knuckles. Okay, getting your whole way down. Let's pump this out, 10 reps. You can do it. Remember, you can go on the knees if you get tired, or you can do negatives as well if you get tired. So that means going on your toes on the way down, and then gradually going down slow, and then popping back up on your knees. All right, 10 reps, three, two, and one. Let's do it. That's it, so just push them through. Rolling your abs there, nice and strong. Sit and push, push, push. You got this, you got this. And really pushing with those triceps to the back of your arms. And beautiful work. Well done. Okay, for set number three, we're going to be going into a wide grip, a wide chin up grip. This is going to emphasize the lats a lot more. So, latissimus dorsi. Okay, so basically your wings point to the other thing here. So just nice and strong going out wide. Pronated grip, so palms facing away from you and straight into the body. Eight reps again, we'll pump it out. Okay, so for our super wide, we're gonna make, make a T push up. So we're gonna be going, when we come down, we're gonna have our hands wider than shoulder width. Okay, and then you're gonna draw your abs in, tuck your hips under, and push up. Just like a normal push up, it's gonna emphasize the chest a lot more. If you wanna make it more difficult, we can also go on knuckles, more difficult. You can, you can wear a, a weight vest, definitely. Um, but yeah, so let's pump this out. Just 12 reps, nice and simple. If it's too easy, progress it. Another way to progress it would be to make an incline so if you put your feet up on the bench. All right, but three, two, one, let's pump it out. So 12 reps. So getting that chair to the ground on each rep. Beautiful, so just a few more. And 12. Beautiful, nice work. Nice, okay, so next we're gonna start to work on our core. So we're gonna be holding ourselves up on the bars, going into tucks, enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna be going into our tucks, hanging from the bars, okay? So this is an advanced exercise. Well done for making it to this point. If you feel like you can't get as many reps out or you can't get as many reps out um, as I'm asking in one hit, that's okay. Hang in there, keep working, keep progressing, you'll get there. If you feel like you can't even hold yourself or do a single chin up, then definitely um, go back to doing the floor work, uh, uh, core exercises, or if you do, do exactly the same, or if you do have bars, do exactly the same thing that we're doing here, but holding yourself on parallel bars. You can, you can do that um, at an outdoor gym as well. But for what we have right here, let's pump that. So we're gonna be going 15 reps, see how you go, of tucks. So I'll show you in one second. So 15 reps, three, two, and one. So you're gonna hold yourself up. And just knees into the chest. In fact, just go for 10. Let's go for 10. Get your first 10 out, pump those out, especially after all the chin ups we've just done. Okay, and have a 90 second break. All right, so enjoy. All right, fantastic. So now we're gonna be getting into our oblique crunches. So instead of just coming straight in, both knees into the chest, we're gonna be turning, twisting through the hips a little bit and bringing our feet out wide. So just that little tilt and crunching in through your obliques as you come up and go into your tuck. So 10 reps, so just one, two, alternating each time. All right, pump them out and you get your 60 to 90 seconds recovery. Let's do this. 
and try to point your feet if you can. Now, for the hardest core exercise that we're going to be doing today, straight leg raises on the bars. Okay, so it's, it's relatively simple, but it is difficult. And you're going to swing quite a bit when you first start to do it. So just try to hold your core as strong as possible, hold your frame as tightly as possible, and just try to raise through the feet. Okay, so we're just going to be getting our legs horizontal, so just straight up horizontal with our hips, and then lowering down anywhere from 6 to 10 reps, all right, we're going to pump this out and very quickly this is going to develop and grow. All right, you want the strong core, strong hip flexors, this is going to do it while developing your arms and shoulders at the same time. So let's do it. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, well done, 10 reps, well done. Great work on Smashing through today's workout, especially through the upper body, the new core work exercises, really, really exciting. Well done, pat yourself on the back for getting through it, for motivating yourself, taking on the video. I love what you're doing, I want you to keep it up, okay, so keep going, because I'm gonna be posting a video every single day for the next 365 days. So there's plenty more workouts to come for you. And if you have any feedback, please let me know, get onto it, whether you message me, whether you comment on YouTube, um, yeah, whatever it is, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you, and I'll see you soon.